What's up guys? Welcome to Ice Brand TV. Today, we're going to make a comparison video for the two four-star bow weapon in Genshin Impact. The Rast Bow and the Compound Bow. I know that many of you guys are kinda confused between choosing what type or best weapon in the game. So I decided to make a comparison video that focuses on comparing the main attributes and the overall stats as well as a little gameplay of this 2 4 star bow weapon. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So first things first, um, currently I'm using my level 70 official as my main DPS and both rust bow and compound bow have the same refinement and weapon level which is refinement level 1 and weapon level 60. And obviously they are both 4 star weapon. So which means they do have the same scaling when you upgrade them. I think that's enough talking. Let's do the comparison video now. So what you witnessed there were the normal attacks and obviously I didn't perform or cast any types of elemental skills or burst from Fischl. As far as elemental skills are concerned, here are some footages that would show you the differences in damage output of the two bows. Obviously, when using an elemental skills, Rust has more electro damage output than your compound bow. This shows us one of the advantages of using a Rust bow. As the Rust gives an additional attack percentage bonuses in comparison to your compound bow, which only gives you an additional physical damage bonuses. Whereas on the other hand, one of the advantages of your compound bow is that it is refinable as it could easily obtain through forging, which is very F2P friendly at the first place. That's why most players find it attractable. When it comes to your rust bow, unfortunately, it could only be obtained through gacha, and I think most players would be having difficulty in refining this item as it would require you to make dozen of wishes at the first place. And that's all for this video guys. For more Genshin Impact tips, weapon comparison, and review updates, 
please do subscribe to our YouTube channel as it would help us to make future videos. Hope that you learned something and thank you for watching.